everyone, it's Amy, and Happy New Year's! Psych! It's a couple days after New Year's. This is coming out Tuesday, so it's not New Year's. Anyways, uh, Happy 2022! I had to record that a lot of times because I kept on saying 2020, and it's a lot of twos, so I had to say it a couple times to get in my brain. Hi! So, as we all know, I really like to interrupt myself while I'm mid-speech. So anyways, I did not know that the Fine Brothers had actually already made a video like this three years ago, oh, basically. Um, so I promise I, I did not mean to copy them, but I, I, I did, I guess, in a sense, I did copy them. But I promise I didn't do it on purpose. I, I thought about this and I knew someone would have done it eventually. But uh, yeah, so... Enjoy this roller coaster of emotions that you're about to witness. So, I was thinking of how is the best way to greet the new year, and obviously, why not basically maybe try to get cancelled? I don't know how this video is gonna go. As you've seen in the title, I don't know yet, I haven't come up with a title. I'm going to be reacting to every single YouTube rewind there's been on YouTube. So, I have my paper and I have my pencil, as well as my popcorn. Oh, you didn't see that my popcorn, and I have a drink. So I will be taking notes on every single YouTube Rewind there's been and rate them from best to worst, which uh, usually gets worse. But you know what, who knows? So disclaimer. <laughs> Never ask for your opinion, so don't give it to me, okay? Sorry, that seems a little bit rude, but I'm trying to be more honest with you guys um, so basically, if you have something to say, and it's not nice, don't say it at all, okay? Um, and if you say it, well then, nah, nobody's gonna see it, except me, because I'll be the one deleting it. So, if you say my opinion's wrong, well guess what? Did I ask? Who asked? Because I didn't, okay? So, thank you. I'm trying to not to be cancelled, but we'll see how this goes. Let's just get into the video, because I'm just scared. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with uh, YouTube Rewind 2010. It used to be called the Year Review. Uh, yeah, you can't really see that. Should I go down? Should I go down like that? I don't know. That works. Let's let's get started. <laughs> starting off, Watch Mojo. That's number one. YouTube started in like tw 2005. 2005, I think. Or 2004. I don't know. But, uh, it's a minute long. Oh, I, I'm blocking the how long it is. It's a minute long. I, I'm pretty sure you saw it. I don't know. Go back. I don't know why I'm talking. You know what? We'll just watch it. And uh, I'll give you my notes after I finish watching it. And uh, I'm not going to show the full thing because that's going to be a, a minute long video of me just not saying anything. So I'll just take notes quietly and I'll only show snippets of where, I don't know, I thought it was funny. I don't know. Now back to me. Now back to your man. Now back to me. It's cool. I'm fine. I can stop it. <laughs> what the kids don't know is Justin Bieber is backstage too. I saw you on the video. So cute. Okay, I only took a couple notes, but um, it was a lot of watch mojo. It was literally watch the top 10. Is it like the top 10 videos on YouTube? And maybe, I don't know, because they literally reused the same clips. I have that it's circled. Can you see that? I have that circled and I'm pretty sure it's the, the top 10 clips, but you know, YouTube is bigger than that. You know, a lot of channels used to be really big in 2010 and I didn't see any of that. This is supposed to show off the first ever YouTube Rewind and that was more of a top 10. And it comes in full circle if you know what I mean, if you know. Why was Cars so big in 2010? It says a lot of parodies and they showed one parody. Lots of uh, music videos showed one music video. Uh, lots of commercials, same commercial, over and over again. If this was my introduction to YouTube, I would have been like, nah, I I'll pass. I hope 2011 was better because that 
that's a little disappointing. Here we go to 2011. I see Rebecca Black. Hi, I'm Rebecca Black and welcome to YouTube Rewind, a very special event where we take a look back at the most watched videos of 2011. So without further ado, let's take a look back at the biggest hits of 2011 and see who's at number one. Okay, so that was, I feel like, a little better. I think YouTube got informed about uh, their other creators. So we'll just go down the list. So I put more creators. I'm very happy about that because you got to see a little more uh, people that posted their own videos and put their little twist and spice on YouTube. Music videos and uh, Jimmy Fallon and Stephen Colbert. You know, there's other that exist. Lovely wrap up on Rebecca Black, obviously. Uh, I still don't know what the countdown was. I think it was the most viewed video in 2011. So maybe Rebecca Black's Friday was very popular and obviously it is. She's a queen. Annoying Orange, I don't know. Pretty sure we saw them uh, last year as well. Uh, last year as in 2010 you know i still it doesn't it doesn't hit it okay let's uh let's keep rolling oh sorry i just started the video uh 20 uh you rewind youtube style 2012 that's a weird title Rewind YouTube style. I forgot that Gang of Style was 2012. I think I might get copyrighted for this. Rewind YouTube style. I'm gonna lower that. I, I like that a lot. That was honestly better than 2011. That was like, oh, we do have YouTubers and we should probably include them in YouTube Rewind. So, uh, that was a lot, very cringy, a lot cringy. They use the same song. They use two songs, actually. I would have liked less of those two songs. I saw I Justine. Uh, what if instead of Justine being on the violin, why not maybe Lindsay Sterling? I'm not sure if she was on YouTube yet. Maybe she wasn't, and then I'm completely wrong. That's on my part. I saw more of the anno uh, the orange guy. So I still don't know if that's annoying orange or not. That orange guy was also very popular. Our person, I don't know. I do I'm sorry. But yeah, 2012, cringy. That's what. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Cringy. It got a little longer, four minutes long. Oh, the YouTube. I forgot YouTube took away the dislike button. Out of 194 million views, it got 1.5 million likes. You know, we can assume that the dislikes were a little higher. Uh, let's see the first comment. This feels way less cringy than 2018, even though it's six years old. I remember how revolutionary this video felt seeing beloved YouTubers like Jenna and Ryan and Smosh. Simpler times, I guess. And then, sad face. I haven't seen 2016, but, uh... Currently, this is the most cringy one video. Why am I getting an icon? I don't want to watch 2015. I'm watching 2013. Calm down. Um, 2013, YouTube Rewind, what does 2013 say? And I'm guessing that now that's a play on words from what does the fox say? Twice 13. Let's do this. Like nobody was Let's stop talking and do some walk. What does the fox say? Oh. Me love rewind. Um, um, um. <laughs> Why was there 
are so many goats. This was a very loud in my ears. This was, I think this was the start of the actual rewind button. Like YouTube, like, you know, the rewind. I saw a Casey Rice. So, oh, there she is. I don't know the other, most of the other YouTubers. And I'm very sorry. I'm not uh, a connoisseur of YouTubers. So I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Or Talia Joy. I need to give my notes. Uh, starting off with obviously the rewind button. Pretty cool. Uh, Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball. Hate that. I'm sorry, Jenna. Why did they give you that part? It was a little cringy, but not yeah, not Jenna. Miley Cyrus part. Anyways, more songs. I like the selection of songs. That's the one thing I didn't like about 2012, and they put more songs in 2013. Why was there so many goats? Is this the start of Goat Simulator? I'm so confused. That's my one word on this. It's goats. Not that, not that. Goats. The 2010's word is one. 2011 orange because i saw uh, the orange guy a lot uh cringy for 2012 and 2013 goats because why was there so many goats 2014 turned down for 2014 i'm pretty sure that's a play on words again for turned down for what this is six minutes long so we're gonna fast forward and i'll be taking notes as well i'm gonna eat some popcorn just so you guys know i ate popcorn I have so many questions in barely the first three seconds. Okay, there's a lot going on. So first of all, mixtapes. Were mixtapes a thing in 2014? I don't remember at all. A second of all, football. Again, football was a popular thing. I do not know why was there football. Uh, I, okay, so this one definitely had more of a diverse uh, cast. How it should have been. Okay, that is okay, there's another note. Uh, wait, let me just write that down. This one definitely had more of a diverse uh, YouTube cast where there's people from like Asia, there's people from England, there's people, I, um, Spain, Mexico area. I don't wanna say a certain place just in case I'm wrong. So uh, second of all, was it Ice Bucket Challenge? I think that's what it was, the whole water thing. I'm pretty sure Ice Bucket Challenge was a big thing for ALS. Also, Spider Dog. Did they put a dog in a spider suit and put them on top of the, the Dark Horse type of set? I'm pretty sure that was Dark Horse from Katy Perry. More talk show hosts. Um, I saw the... the like the people running across the stage, like a kid president and a big bird, you know, they were running across and I saw like different talk shows. So that was pretty nice. Uh, a lot of challenges, you know, like the no hands challenge. Um, so that was nice. Um, I would have liked to see Pentatonix sing, let it go at the end. That would have been nice because they, they are literally an acapella singing group. I, th I think they're acapella. They're just a singing group. I don't know. Again, don't listen to music. Why didn't you showcase them? They're pretty nice. Final note, animators. Where are the animators? I, I mean, they put a, a animator at the end. Like if I didn't keep on watching, they wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known there was an animator. Uh, I guess gaming was a, was kind of a big thing 
I saw a little, uh, lots of different games. I don't know how to sum this up. Uh, I'm just gonna put it was it. Not not great, but that was okay. Um, 2015. Let's go again. Play on words. Now watch me whip. Swear if they use the song at the beginning, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I think I watched this one. I'm pretty sure after 2015, I remember watching it. So, yeah. I am going to get copyrighted by this song. These songs. I forgot to put it up. There's four songs here. I I made I made a list. They made four. They have four songs. <laughs> That's it. Uh, there's a lot more YouTubers that I didn't see before, so I I think I like that's good. I guess because there, there there's more YouTubers that, that got noticed in this here th this. Okay, so uh yeah, fine brothers. Anyways, um, okay, keep on going. Uh, through the decades was that I guess that was a popular thing in 2015 uh carpool karaoke with James Corden I guess that's when that started when his talk show started so him and I'm pretty sure was it John Oliver uh were were like there I think uh just do it was a big thing I saw Miranda sings that was the rise of FNAF uh they really put the gamers all together so like Captain Sparkles and the game theorist and uh, Markiplier, and I I'm pretty sure I saw Mari and Lasercorn, those people, like, they, they're gamers, and they're no, they're recognized for being gamers, so I like that I know they're gamers, and I saw them in the gamer community, um, again, cage match, were cage matches a thing in 2015, because why did they put the dancers in a cage, uh, went over what happened in 2005? You know, the rewind thing, where it's like destination February something 2005, and I'm pretty, that's when YouTube started, 2005. Um, so why did they, did they go back in time? Was it like, to like 10 years, like throughout the 10 years that YouTube's been going on? So I'm just gonna give it a rewind question mark. So let's go into 2016. Uh, 2016, the ultimate 2016 challenge. So I'm just gonna write. There's probably gonna be challenges. A lot of them. I guess this was really cringy. I gotta prepare myself. Let's watch. Fanny packs? Oh. <laughs> about how many challenges there are. I know this should be silent, but I'm not, it's, I'm not, yeah. <sighs> it's clean herself. Challenge. 
challenges. That's the first thing I wrote before watching it. And I guess Carpool Karaoke was more popular this year. I thought it was popular last year because that's why it was on YouTube Rewind 2015, but I guess not. Fanny Pack? Why is Rain the Rock Jansen again? Why was he in it? But I don't know. It's like the same question as why 2019 was like that. Uh, Hydraulic Press was a big thing in 2016. Lord of the Rings got that reference. Why was there a cube? It could have been funny if it was a play button. You know, what if it was a play button in the air? You know, he had money to make a cube. He could have had money to make a, 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 a floating to the, the YouTube rewind button. Sleeping, was that part of something? A lot of dabbing, too much dabbing, I think. I would say 2016 was literally challenges. Oops, all challenges. Okay, so let's go to 2017. Oh my God, I forgot 2017 was the eclipse. 2017, the shape of 2017. Play on words, the shape of you, got it. Lock them out of my memory. This is a very difficult time, but we've been through very difficult times before. So many brothers and sisters that have come to help. The community rallying to show its support. Junto con voluntarios, se organizaron para retirar los escombros. Long lines that are now wrapping around one of the blood banks. And that are doing all they can and are helping. Vivre ensemble, c'est bien, mais construire ensemble. This is a moment where we stand up for one another. Tell me about 2017. It was, uh, it was, it was good. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you put animators at the end? I would have liked the animators to be at the beginning. That's literally what I'm saying. And I'm not even going to write that down. I just would have liked if they just did the animators at the beginning. So we got to see them, you know, not the end. Because people would have just, like, skipped over this for sure. Uh, there's a lot of Viners. I get it that Viners were uh, were surfacing on YouTube because Vine, you know, got dead. Again, diversity of uh, people around YouTube like that. Fidget spinners, stop. I think it's just that it was it's cringy now and it's probably cringy back then. Dabbing. Dabbing was a 2016 thing, so keep it in 2016, please. The start of slime, but I was a little confused because then it turned into... The slime that you see on like Nickelodeon, where it's like the liquidy st stuff. Uh, green screen. They use a lot of green screen. Like a lot of green screen. Too much green screen. Like I would have been good with just the 20 seconds of green screen. But that was like literally the almost the whole video. Not good stuff. Just not good stuff happened in 2017. And at least they did like they did showcase that, you know, that did happen and acknowledged how it did impact a lot of people. Bad, bad. I don't know why they said 2016 was cringy. 2017 was a lot worse. More challenges, a lot more challenges. Uh, they used a lot of popular things, 
that uh, were popular in 2016, 2015, 14, 13, 12. As I said before, it's in the past. It's dead. Keep it dead. Again, we'll, we'll like animators to be showcased a little more. You know, I, I like that they put them, but at the end, at the end of the video, the credits. God, I'm so happy it's almost over. Ah, that's nice. 2018. Everyone controls Rewind. Well, YouTube, were you mad? I think 2018 is the most disliked video on YouTube. And you took off the dislike button. So now we don't know. Let's just, you know, get get to the statistics, okay? 223 million views and 3 million likes. 220 million people might have disliked the video. And you still went for 2019, but we're not looking into that. We're looking into 2018. Also, no play on words. It's just everyone controls to rewind. And, you know, that's probably why it was bad. Duh. Yeah, if I control Rewind, I would want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Quiero a Liza. Oh. Yeah! So guys, apparently we control Rewind this year. Y'all, we can do whatever we want. There's one thing this video needs. No. K-pop! I just can't stand this. Let's do the In My Feelings Challenge, right? Thank you, YouTube. I appreciate it. I love you. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You know who really needs to be in this rewind video? Everyone who managed to do something bigger than themselves this year, who found a way to help the causes that matter to them most. To everyone who proved it's okay to talk about mental health this year and showing their viewers that it's okay to go through tough times like that. It takes a lot of bravery to be that vulnerable and I'm so proud of this community. I think this year's Rewind should celebrate the fierce, <laughs> fabulous, can't. and empowering art of drag. I want to see all of you be your own kind of beautiful. And those people who have paid money in the field of education. Can we also give a moment to Asian representation in entertainment this year? Major strides were made. And to the people who put aside their differences. Yeah, and created something really special. Here's to all women in 2018 finding their voices. So muito bacana ver como as mulheres cresceram esse ano. Elas ganharam poder. Can we give a moment to working moms? Gambari macho. E a todo mundo que ensinou. Ou que aprendeu alguma coisa nesse ano. Aquele lajinho, aquele chacas que me passa a noite. Todos nós deveríamos enviar um saludo a los niños que seguem seus sonhos. Eu quero agradecer a toda a comunidade que sempre apoia em boas e malas. Quita de la cuarga. Quita a latim. A la e la hi é tudo isso. I want to give a moment to everyone who supported me when I got sick. All of the comments and messages I got made me feel like I wasn't alone. We're forgetting something. I think we should read the comments. Yeah, I have a feeling this is about to get a little bit crazy. Let's give the people what they want. It was cute. That's literally what I'm going to start off with. It, it was cute. Okay. All that hate, it, it needed to be said. Okay. 2018. Fortnite. Big, big thing. Uh, where Liza won, was in the, the shopping cart. Was that a reference to Happy Wheels? I don't know. So, why would I, I feel like I'm asked. I feel like this is a Q&A where the answering is going from YouTube and YouTube's not going to be watching my videos. So, I'm just going to throw this in the air. Why was there a suggestion about K-pop and there was no K-pop artists or dancers involved? You know, I would have liked a little, you know, they talked about Asian representation, but I did not see anything. So 
from watching the K-pop, the K-pop in general. Marshmallow, again, big thing in 2018. I don't remember because I remember watching Marshmallow in 2017. Okay, sorry. Well, let's keep this going. Animators, I'm so happy YouTube uh, listened to me. Obviously, they listened to me and uh, I'm happy they incorporated animators uh, to YouTube Rewind in the middle of the section, not the end. Trying to be sensitive, dot, 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 it's cute. So I, I like how they were talking about Asian representation and how working moms and how cool they are and how great they are. And honestly, they are. Make-A-Wish Foundation and all the different uh, organizations that YouTube and YouTubers have done their time to do live streams to raise money for charities. That although Baby Shark was gross and disgusting and I hate it, I'm sorry to you Baby Shark lovers, I just, not my thing. It's like a good sprinkle of Baby Shark because it's not too much, you know? It was just enough to, to like, have you fulfilled. This one's gonna be long. So downhill, but like, make it a soft, blow so you know like when you're going downhill and you're falling you know make it a soft blow soften the blow guys we're we're literally at the end it's what a youtube rewind 2019 for the record and i feel like it's gonna come full circle guys oh. that is so awkward to watch. YouTube Rewind 2018, the most disliked video in the history of YouTube. There we go. Exactly. Watch Mojo. Apology video made it on YouTube Rewind. And one video per creator. So the I think the only thing I need a, a really deep dive is uh, one video per creator. They were lazy enough to only include one video of that creator. Like they couldn't have even just thought of maybe if they're being showcased, we should probably incorporate more of what they do instead of just the one video they did obviously like the top 10 the top video or whatever like top viewed video top liked video i get that that's just gonna be one video i get it but like if it's talking about creators i would have liked to see a little more of what they do you know not just the one video i saw them do like if it was a top creator of the year with the most views top creator of the of the year that you know surpassed a hundred thousand million subscribers you know i don't care about the that you know i would like to see what they did you know what what motivated them to continue doing youtube like show me more videos of them doing stuff rather than just one video of them doing one thing did i write lazy no i didn't um there we go 2019 Let's see if you can see that lazy. And I get that you won't be redoing that this year. I mean, last year. Oh my God, I'm, I'm still in 2021. Um, so yeah, I get that you're not gonna do it uh, ever again. And uh, I'm kind of sad about that because like you let people that watch the website win and you're the website. Like, come on, you just do better, you know? Everyone can improve on themselves. So I'm gonna rip these off. Let's uh, go into bigger screen and uh, we'll talk about the results. So, in the most bad is on 10 is 2019. Number 9, 2017. Number 8, 2010. Number 7, 2012. Number 6, 2018, but only the content. Number 5, 2016. Number four, 2011, 2003, th 2013, number four, 2015, and the least bad of them all is 2014, 
tied with 2018, but only the people, you know, 2018 is only the people, and then 2018 in number six it would be the content. 2018 was better in the sense that they included people. So that's my rundown of the, the, my, my opinion on what, you know, yeah. Yeah, that looks so cool. Wow. Good job, Amy. Now that we're done with that, we can throw this away. Ooh, ASMR. Ooh, love that. Yummy. And now we're starting off the year with uh, maybe getting canceled. Hope not, because, again, my opinion. So don't hate the player. Hate the game. That's all I'm saying. Because, literally, I'm not doing anything. I'm just stating my opinion and the facts of the videos. So, I hope you like this video, uh, because this was really interesting, going through the years and seeing how, you know, YouTube was going up, peaked, and then went back down. So you should definitely like and subscribe, because I am not forcing you to do anything. But again, I would very much truly appreciate it if you did, because I'm a pretty cool person. Not lying, I am. You know? I am. I, I promise. I promise. Just subscribe or like the video. I don't know. Do both or just one. I'm not forcing you to do anything. But I would very much appreciate if you did. And I hope you have a nice day. See you guys next time. Bye bye.